Hello and welcome to part two of the repair video for this Organop 5 transceiver, which is uh, one of my dad's radios. In part one, I tried to diagnose the cause of the, the problem. The problem is that there is no output power at the antenna jack. And I tried to find the cause for that. And it turned out that uh, one of those IF uh, ceramic filters was bad. So uh, in the meantime, we have replaced the filter that was bad. There is a second identical one um, that we did not replace, but we did replace the one that was bad. And um, unfortunately, we tried to get some footage of that, but it didn't go very well. So uh, uh, I hope that nobody was eager to, to watch that. Uh, so there is not much uh, else to say about that. Now it works. I haven't tried it yet on the air, I will, but for sure it does put out power now after uh, that chip got replaced. Um, but to conclude the whole repair, I'd like to talk a little bit uh, about how to remove the chip and what might uh, have caused the problem. And then in the end of the video, there will be uh, me trying to make a contact with the radio. So how to, how to remove uh, the, the bad chip? Now, the best tool for that is probably one of those, uh, one of those um, desoldering guns. This is uh, pretty much a tip like in a soldering iron that gets hot when you turn it on, but there is a little hole, uh, there is a little hole in that tip. And if you pull the, actually if you turn it on and then pull the trigger, you can hear sort of an ear compressor going and that, uh, that the air compressor sucks air through that rubber pipe, um, through that whole uh, kind of shaft here, and um, uh, eventually through, through the hole in that nozzle. And the solder of the joint that you're trying to, to um, remove uh, then ends up in this cavity that you can take out and clean. Um, this is a very handy tool if you're doing a lot of rework because you can you can you can remove this uh, ceramic filter in maybe a minute or so just by um, by touching the solder joint and then pulling the trigger while wiggling um, to to free off the pin. Uh, from from the plated through hole. Uh, if you don't have that, you know that whatever works for you does probably work here. It's a bit annoying because the um, ceramic filter uh, is connected to a several pins are connected to a big round plane uh, on the back of the board. Uh, but eventually, uh, I guess um, you 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 can use whatever method works for you uh, to to remove. Uh, the part and to clean the holes. Uh, something else you can do, and that sort of brings me to, to the next thing I'd like to discuss is you can take off the cap of the filter and cut it in parts. I did, so this is a filter that went bad, and I did uh, take off the cap, but I didn't, I didn't cut it in half because I used the, um, the desoldering gun. So if you look at the back, Right, the bottom of this filter, it sort of looks like it's potted, but um, it's not. There is no potting compound in, in, the, in, the, um, um, in, the, in the body. I guess that sort of makes sense uh, due to the nature of that filter. But anyway, so, so one thing you can do is uh, pry off that cap and then cut in pieces and unsolder each of them individually. So um, the next thing that is interesting is what, what went wrong. And in fact, I'll put in a link in the description that somebody from the audience of, uh, the, of part one of the video showed, because uh, apparently this seems to, be, it seems to be a common problem. And if you look at um, the, first, uh, the first membrane, in this filter, it sort of looks corroded. I'm not sure if I, yeah, I can maybe get this in closer. It looks corroded um, and actually most of them do, but some of them do not. And uh, apparently um, this happens due to, to uh, EMF electromotive force if you have a DC applied across the filter. That's one of the theories um, uh, on, on why um, they break. Um, I'm not sure if this is true, uh, because I talked to it to a, to a I talked about it to a friend which owns a radio repair shop and he says that he confirmed that those filters go bad very often uh, but they go bad in radios that do have AC coupling caps to to prevent 
um, that, uh, that uh, leakage current through them as well as in radios uh, that, that don't have them apparently uh, equally often. So I'm not sure what's the deal here, but I suggest um, if you're interested in that to check out that site that I'm linking in because um, it also explains how the filters work. Um, in fact, I do have, because that guy did one experiment, he took one of those uh, filters and applied like 50 volts for several volts for several months uh, across one of uh, those filters and it failed in exactly the same way with this kind of corrosion uh, on, on, the, on the membranes. So uh, unfortunately, he should have done that experiment with at least two filters, uh, one of them with AC coupling and the other one without, um, because um, he's trying to make a point in that AC coupling helps to prevent that. So I got a bunch of those filters, I believe it's like uh, 10 or so, and one interest, well, mildly interesting experiment one could do is take five of them and apply 50 volts um, like straight at the pin and take the, the remaining parts and apply the 50 volts with AC coupling and see uh, which of them fails first. If you think that would be interesting, let me know in the comments. Um, and other than that, I think all I can do is now move this, put it back together, uh, move this over to the shack and try to have a QSO with it to conclude it. Um, I say goodbye for now. If you're interested in that contact, keep watching. Otherwise, thank you for watching and hope to see you soon. All right, so I uh, put everything back together and I hooked up the organo to my antenna, but um, unfortunately the bands are extremely poor today. Uh, actually, I think they haven't been as poor as now for months. So um, pretty much the only station that I'm getting is a Belgian station that I'm trying to contact now, but I'll, uh, I'll hope at least we'll have a short exchange. I'm not really sure how well this will go. Oscar November 4, Romeo Alpha Tango uh, Portable. Oscar November 4, Romeo Alpha Tango Portable. Hotel Bravo 9, Foxtrot Romeo Victor. Hotel Bravo 9, Foxtrot Romeo Victor, good afternoon, you're 5 and 9 uh, in the area of Liege. Uh, my name is Holger, Hotel Oscar Lima Bauweco Romeo. Okay, Holger, very nice to meet you. Your report is 5.9 as well. Uh, you have a very nice signal there. Bands are not going very well for me at all. My name is Matt, like Mike Alpha Tango Tango, and uh, I'm just testing uh, my dad's transceiver that I repaired, and this is the first QSO we're having. Hopefully everything is going fine. Go ahead. I'm not sure if you finish your transmission. Conditions are uh, changing quite frequently. A lot of QSB on the frequency. I hope to meet you uh, later uh, during the day. 73. Thank you, Holger. 73s and hope to meet you soon. Thank you very much, 73. QSB 9, Oscar Kilos, Hotel Bravo 9, Foxtrot, Romeo Victor. Hotel Bravo 9, Foxtrot, Romeo Victor. Hotel Bravo 9, Foxtrot, Romeo Victor. Hotel Bravo 9. Roger, Roger. Hotel Bravo 9, Romeo Victor. Hotel Bravo 9, Foxtrot, Romeo Victor. Florida Radio Victor 5 and 9. Thank you very much, you're 592. Thank you very much, 73 QSZ.